Welcome to Huff Goes to the Movies. My name is Eric Huff II. Most people call me Huff. Some people know I love going to the movies. Megan is the first horror release of 2023. It debuted in theaters this past weekend. It opened up at number two at the box office, bringing in a huge $30 million on just a $12 million budget. The film scored very well with critics and audiences, so I expect this thing to have legs and to grow to even greater heights, which sets a great tone for 2023 and all the horror films that we're going to be getting this year. And of course, this film is a co-production between Blumhouse from Jason Blum and Atomic Monster from James Wan. The film is written by Akilah Cooper, whose previous credits include Hellfest, which I thought was pretty fun, and Malignant, which is bonkers and wonderful. And she is also the screenwriter behind the upcoming The Nun 2, which comes out later this year. So even though it's a sequel to a film that I really didn't like, uh, I am very much looking forward to seeing what she can do with that property. And Megan tells the story of a robotics engineer played by Allison Williams, who uh, unexpectedly has to become the caretaker for her young niece, played by Violet McGraw, um, after a tragedy that happens with her parents. Um, and as someone who is sort of out of her element when it comes to taking care of a child, she decides to build a lifelike robotic doll named Megan, who can become best friends with her niece. But as you could expect in a movie like this, the technology is a little too smart and then becomes a little too sinister. And that's about all that's safe to say about Megan if you have not already seen it. If you have already seen it, please do comment down below, let me know your thoughts. And of course, try not to spoil anything for people who haven't gotten a chance to see the film yet. I have to just come right out and say I had a blast with this film. Megan is that perfect balance of um, creepy, campy, and fun. I think that Akila Cooper's script is rooted in just telling a very solid story, one that would work regardless of the genre that it's in. Um, but when you throw in the filmmaking um, ideas behind people like James Wan and Jason Blum, these are guys who come from that school of the horror genre. They have done a wide variety of projects in this genre. Jason Blum just recently concluded the Halloween trilogy, which I had my thoughts on, but needless to say, he's definitely someone who has earned the right to be seen as one of the masters of horror of the modern film industry. And James Wan is probably the most revered director in the genre right now. And Anytime he steps outside of it, he even finds ways to succeed. So films like Furious 7 and Aquaman are able to be massive hits, despite the fact that he is apparently most comfortable with the horror genre. And after the work of Akilah Cooper with Malignant and Hellfest, it's very clear that she's not really afraid of things that come across as silly on the page because she knows how to have fun with it. And when you root something silly in solid storytelling, it can make for those moments that might turn you off in a trailer or on paper. It can make them really endearing in the film. And I think that this movie works because everyone knows what movie they're making. And none of the storytelling is sacrificed at the expense of this material. There's never a moment where the movie feels like, yeah, we know this is dumb, so let's laugh at it. No, the movie is committed to telling its story, to sticking with its tone, and if you have fun with it, great. Um, if you're creeped out by it, great. But at no moment in the film did I feel like director Gerard Johnstone felt like he was above this material. And I think that it works to great effect, especially when you have performers that are committed to this material. So Allison William works very well here. Violet McGraw is very good as the, as the niece. Um, and Megan is actually done with a mix of different performers. There is an actress who is sort of her physical performer on set, and then they had another actress do the voice. And I think that both of those work to great effect. Both of them make Megan very unsettling with just how semi-real she looks, even though she moves like a robot, because she is. And the voice sounds sweet enough outside of this context, but as you start listening to what she's saying, it's like, okay, this is this is a little much. This is a toy that I would not get to my children, even though I don't have children. 
But all in all, I think that Megan is a really fun time in the theater. I saw it with an almost sold out crowd and a few friends and we had a blast. We pulled back when we were supposed to. We laughed when it felt appropriate. We said, oh, hell no, probably every five minutes. And at that point, that's the sign of a really good horror movie. I don't even know that I could call this a horror per se, because I don't know if there's anything that really classifies it as being scary. It is creepy, certainly. I mean, the look of Megan is one that sort of instantly makes you go... But overall, uh, it's a really fun time, and for people who may not be into some of the bigger spectacle films that are out right now, people who have already seen Black Panther Wakanda Forever, or people who have already had their fill of Avatar The Way of Water, and of course those people who aren't trying to see the things that are going to be talked about all through award season, so people who don't have any interest in things like corsage, or women talking, or... I don't know, Babylon or Empire of Light. I think that Megan is that perfect middle ground of something that has just a broad enough appeal to get a lot of different people invested. And so if you have not seen the film already, I I recommend it. I mean, I think this is one that is worth checking out in a theater. I understand that there are some who would wait to see a film like this on streaming, but I think that the audience factor here makes this a really rewarding theater experience. So. I recommend it if you have not seen it already. It is a big recommend from me. Big thumbs up over here. And Akila Cooper, uh, I trust you with whatever they hand you. I cannot wait for The Nun 2. James Wan, Jason Blum, once again, keep doing what you're doing. Um, but that's all that I have for today. If you have not already, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Uh, that way you can stay up to date with everything going on here at the channel. And if you like what we're doing here at Huff Goes to the Movies, I say we because I couldn't do this alone. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up here. Once again, leave a comment if you've already seen the film. Try not to spoil it. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Do you agree? Disagree? Are you still a little unconvinced about whether you should even make the trip to see this film? Go ahead and let me know. That's all for today. Once again, my name is Eric Huff from the Second. Most people call me Huff. Stay sweaty, my friends. I will see you at the movies. Peace.